கண்களை முடி ஜெபிக்கலாம் ஏசப்பா இந்த காலையில் நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் எங்களோடு பேசும் தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் த லிவிங் போ தர் காம்ஸ் எவ்ரி டே லோ த லிவிங் மன் ஆ தர் காம்ஸ் ஐ தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் த மன் ஆ தட் கிவ்ஸ் எஸ் நியூ லைஃப் அண்ட் த பைபிள் சேஸ் இஃப் எனி மேன் இட்ஸ் திஸ் பிரேட் ஹி வில் நாட் டை பட் வில் ஹவ் எவர் லாஸ்டிங் லைஃப் and jesus referred to his word and referred to that as a meat i thank you jesus for the meat that gives us everlasting life and the word that gives us new life i pray our mind is renewed our heart is changed i thank you god the patterns of failure are removed i praise you god for the everlasting word that is settled in heaven and lord i thank you for the portion that is given for today Hallelujah in Jesus mighty name we pray. Kathir periya kathir kodpama. Hallelujah God is a good God. Amen. Breaking away from yesterday. That's our short title for today. Breaking away from yesterday. Because the sun rises every day and looks as if it is the same like yesterday, we tend to live life like yesterday. and everything around us does not change the kitchen remains the same the dining table remains the same and people in the house most of the time are the same so we tend to treat today as same as yesterday but i'm praying today that we will break away from yesterday we don't need to allow yesterday to dominate today we don't want the pattern that we used and we had failures yesterday god wants us to begin a new day and it should be unlike yesterday hallelujah and the word of god will give us that insight that today is should not be the same as yesterday today my time with god should not be exactly a routine like yesterday my revelation from god should be different i need to receive something new today because god is physically made today and he said you go to rest the previous night so when you wake up you are actually waking up with a new set of cells in the body the body has actually grown the mind has taken rest is ready for the new day and ready for new revelations number 1 we just share four points quickly glory shall shine on you god said isaiah 60 verse 2 the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the lord shall rise arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon thee adavadhu karthrude oli nammel udikkum yes there is darkness there has been failures yesterday darkness has covered the earth but i pray that when you wake up that glory shall start shining on us and the way that glory shines on us is that we should spend time with god moses in deuteronomy 30, sorry exodus 34 verse 2 God said wake up in the early morning and come to me and come up in the morning to mount san present yourself on the top of the mount you know what is the effect of our spending time with god how can glory shine upon us every day the glory should increase you know nammude vaalkila naalukku naal nam vandu keele pogamal nam mele poi kondirukka vendum we have to start increasing and today's pattern should god can you know we although the body likes yesterday you know i realize that the body likes routine for example if you're good in something you're good in database you feel like doing the same database or same thing every day we are comfortable it likes routine and it is sedated in that routine and it's hard to break away from that routine if we are used to 10 minutes of prayer after that the body does not want to you know extend it he says i'm done with 10 minutes the body likes routine but we have to break from routine because routine if the the, the definition of insanity was that you do the same thing again and again expecting a different result that's what they call as insanity insanity is you know i will do i will achieve something new but i will keep doing the same routine and we will never hit the new goals 
So constantly we have to break away from what our body is used to it. If you don't get up at six o'clock because you're used to six o'clock and then you feel like getting up at five is very hard because the body wants to get up exactly at the, at the same time. To get up early like five or four, uh, you know, it's a new routine. And we have to break from the conventional routine and come out of and push yourself into a new routine. And I realize that our brain is volatile. The most volatile commodity on the planet is the brain because it forgets. I learned something new last week and then I did not revise it for the four or five days. And somebody asked me, do you know about this? I know I read it, I read it last week. I even tried it, but I totally forgot. I realized that the memory is volatile. It, it disappears. It will come back again, but it's not there fresh. And so God gave me a new routine. He said, every day, those things that you really like, you have to spend time on it every day. Those things that you really want to grow in it, I mean, you cannot skip it. I realized, I heard a story of this Philip, you know, his name is Philip in Australian Olympics. Uh, he got like eight swimming medals and he was a champion. And his testimony he gave in one, one of the conferences, he said, every day I got up for the last four years, every day, not one day he will miss, every day he'll get up, push himself into the swimming pool in the morning. And again, push himself into the swimming pool in the evening. If he flew from San Jose or from San Francisco to Los Angeles, he said, I will fly to Los Angeles. I'll be very tired. Get out of the flight. Go to hotel. And still I will jump into the pool because as a preparation for the Olympics, I have to practice every day. And he got like eight Olympic medals. The success is doing all things, not just one, all things that you really want to become good at and every day. Amen? All things that we want to do and doing it every day. You want to exercise, do it every day. You want to read Bible, do it every day. Amen? You want to grow in some particular technology, do it every day. And so... God told Moses, come up in the morning, every morning. And the glory, verse 29, he was spending time with God and the glory of God was started shining. Our glory should start shining upon us. Amen. Yesterday cannot be today. Today should be different from yesterday. Exodus Sorry, Exodus 34, verse 29. The habits of yesterday can be broken. The patterns of yesterday can be broken. He spent so much time in the presence of God. When he came from the mountain, his skin was shining. You know how many times we lost glory? And rather we went into what we call the world of the flesh. For example, some marriages, every day there's fight. It is repeating, last year fight, this year fight, the pattern is repeating. And if we are not careful, we, we will never enter this dimension of glory that God is talking about. I mean, when people see us, they should see glory. When you see yourself in the mirror, if you spend a lot of time with God, we can see the glory, we can see that our heart is light, our heart is filled with joy. I mean, we feel like giving to God. But if I don't spend time with, pe with God, I don't feel like spending time with people. I feel like secluding myself or escaping if I don't spend time with God. And God is here to break patterns. Marriage problems need not repeat. You know, sometimes we get used to it. You know, get used to arguments and get used to fighting and say this is all normal. Some people have said that it is normal. No, it is not normal. 
God did not create Adam and Eve to fight. <laughs> Amen. He put them in the garden to be happy. To eat that f- all the fruits God said. You can eat all the fruits. Don't, not just the forbidden, not that one, but all the fruits. He gave them vegetables to eat and fruits to eat. He, he made them to be happy. But Namudia psychology and culture and also our upbringing has taught these people that marriage has to be hard. We have to struggle in marriage. We have to face problems in marriage. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And uh, supposed to, you know, appreciate one another. Supposed to, you know, uh, look at each other and, uh, you know, uh, compliment, help one another. If I am by myself, I can do only little. But if I am with uh, um, Christina, I can do a lot. So it is with in every family, with spouses, you can actually do a lot. And that amount of time the wife spends, if you just calculate the time, they spend a lot of time actually for the family. Number nine point, they don't spend anything. You just take the time they cook. Just calculate the time. <clears throat> they spend hours on cooking. Even just making coffee takes time. And you don't pay for that. The husband does not pay the wife. Oh, you made coffee, you spent 20 minutes. You made this biryani.